How many of you have performance technologies? How many of you, within the last week, tried to mess up other people's behavior and tried to change in that behavior? Obviously not for your benefit, for the good of the other person. How many of you did that? If you did that, you are a human performance technologist. And you can apply for your safety.
with a full honor arrival as if your, your person that you loved had just died in the current conflict. And, and it meant so much. So I had the, the honor of meeting the people that we impacted and also the honor of taking a full spectrum of staff, a very, very young um, men and women who had served multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, and this was their down tour. And what that means is you're away from your wife or your husband and your children for a year when you're in combat. When you come back to reconstitute yourself, one doesn't normally select a command where you then deployed 50% of the time to very, very arduous places. So my, uh, so in the, in the Navy, as I said, I started in Vietnam. When you start in a, in a time of war, many people are deployed in combat. So therefore, if you are not a combatant individual, you are given a wide variety of functional areas you can go into. So I, I, I basically went into many different areas. So I had finished on the Joint Chiefs of Staff as the head of human resources, uh, the most senior human resource, and Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt for the Department of Defense. And I was given the honor of commanding JPAC. So I had the opportunity to fly out into just the most arduous places you can imagine, the places where our heroes died. And you would go for 32 hours of flight, and you'd fly in, and you'd keep flying, and then all of a sudden you'd be on helicopters, and you'd be flying from helo to helo to get out to these very primitive places. Um, Again, just it was an honor to do that, but it was a challenge. And as a CPT, I looked at the command, and if the commander spent all of their time traveling throughout the world negotiating contracts and doing all the speaking engagements that you could do, you would never be at home to be with the people that needed you to also look at their processes. So when I took over the command, the manning was very, very um, minimal. So the central identification lab was in the 60% manning. And in the rest of the command, it was 80%. There were people living in stairwells and in fire exits. They had their offices, and I'd go, why is your office at that doorway? And they'd say, well, it's the only place I can find, and, and it's got a window. And I'd say, no, this is a safety issue. You can't have somebody's desk in front of a fire exit. So this sort of gives you, you know, the feeling. Leaky roofs, uh, hardworking, wonderful people, and all they cared about was the mission. They really didn't care about their quality of life. So what I've done uh, for today's presentation is just to go over the 10 steps that we use as a daily way of living and show you how, how as a chief executive officer, uh, I use them with this wonderful command to create a CPT environment. So the first was focus on results. Right now, for one more minute, and he's going to be the president in the 
next minute. So, Vicki, you need two hands. Because I'm going to give you a plaque. And the reason they get plaques is they can put them on their wall to convince everyone I'm so busy, and it's the reason I'm so busy is because I'm the president. See that? And so that explains everything, doesn't it? And uh, lo and behold, I am going to get another plaque. <laughs> this is the presidential plaque, which is going to Darlene. Now, as we pass over from Darlene's board to, to my board, I hope you will understand that last year, that particular board, Darlene's board, worked through a lot of interesting and difficult problems for ISPI. And I applaud the work that they did. There's so much work that they did for the society, and they really got us through some difficult times, and it's greatly, greatly appreciated. And I think that Darlene and her team deserve an ISPI thank you from you.
ideas, so different ways of looking at things. So if we can get that up there, yeah. Right now, and we're in a state of flux a little bit, uh, we haven't put full thinking caps on this. We've got a board meeting tomorrow, and we're going to be working on things, but we feel that um, we want to get to the research areas and get back to research, so the theme of the conference next year is going to be evidence-based practices. And we're going to be listening to our research team. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to do a full-day research symposium where we're going to get people coming in and talking about the actual research and what we can get out of it as practitioners. Another element, we're going to have more invited speakers uh, to the session to really focus in on what's new, what's exciting, and what is important for our society that we can bring forth for the conference itself. And there's also going to be the concept of a conference within a conference. So everybody's going to go to the keynotes and the master speakers, but we may have certain groups that are going to go through the conference by themselves to get uh, specialized information. It may be, for example, right now we've got a newcomer's track, and we've got newcomer sessions, but we may have a newcomer, a whole track of newcomer session, uh, sessions that we'll go for, and Judy and I have to talk about this, maybe get some extra there may be a K through 12 uh, track. So we're looking at ways that we can improve and get more involvement in the society. And there are going to be some new things that we're going to see at the Orlando conference. But one thing, and before I forget this, um, the conference committee has asked me to uh, remind you about the World Cafe uh, elements that you've done and participated in. We thank you for that participation. They're putting all of that information together. And you're going to see that shortly in one or two of the publications, so that information is